Are you a big fan of Disney? If your answer is yes, this video is about to ruin it for you. Over the years, Disney has included a number of Easter eggs in their films. Most of them are inappropriate or just plain dark. From using voices of dead people in their films to killing off way too many innocent characters. Let's talk about this and more only in today's video. Top 10 terrifying hidden Disney Easter eggs, part two. But before I go any further, why don't you guys check out the new channel, Bumblebee. It is run by the one and only Dewey and Rachel. So go ahead and check that out. Now I'll get on with the video. Starting off this countdown, we have Dumbo's father. Who doesn't love Dumbo, the cute little elephant with big ears? Now, did you know that the story of Dumbo was loosely based off of a real elephant? But in real life, the story is very dark and depressing, which makes this whole movie unsettling. So in the film, Dumbo's mom is Miss Jumbo. This is a reference to a real life famous elephant named Jumbo, a male African bush elephant who was tortured his whole life and then killed. You know how we don't see Dumbo's father in the film? Well, that's because his father is the real life Jumbo, meaning we don't see Dumbo's father because he's dead. Way to go, Disney. Way to ruin this movie for us. Moving on at number nine, we have the spinning wheel. Aurora from Sleeping Beauty isn't the only princess that has to look out for a dangerous spinning wheel. Rapunzel from Tangled has to as well. In one scene, we can see the spinning wheel in the background of Rapunzel's room. Hey, maybe her and Aurora are related somehow. I don't know, they just both have blonde hair. Anyways, why would this deadly spinning wheel be in her home? Maybe Maleficent is coming after her too. Or is Mother Gothel actually Maleficent in disguise? These are the hard hitting questions, people. Coming in at number eight, we have the West Wing. I can no longer watch Beauty and the Beast the same after learning about this Easter egg. So obviously everything is alive in Beauty and the Beast, from the furniture to cutlery and dishes. They're all alive because of the witch's curse. Here's the thing, in the scene where Belle goes to the West Wing, we see the whole room is littered with broken furniture and torn paintings, etc. Remember, the furniture is alive, but this furniture isn't. Meaning, the beast must have murdered a bunch of his servants or something like that. All those broken pieces of furniture, in reality, are dead people. So Belle literally stumbled upon a murder scene. Isn't that just peachy? Totally ruined the movie for me. Coming in at number seven, we have Bambi's mom. Bambi had one of the saddest opening scenes. Like, don't even get me started. If you haven't seen the movie, spoiler alert, Bambi's mom gets killed by a hunter. Fans have pointed out that Disney repeated this exact scene with Bambi's mom in the movie, The Jungle Book. You know, just to add salt to our already hurt wounds. So in the film, we see Shere Khan stalking a deer. The deer looks an awful lot like Bambi's mom and even has the same mannerisms. People were like, really Disney, you're putting us through that all over again? That's messed up. But honestly, it could have just been that they were lazy, so they used the same deer in animation to save time. They actually do that a lot. But either way, thanks Disney for that reminder. Moving on to number six, we have the lost toy. One of our favorite heroes from Toy Story can be seen in Finding Nemo. That is Buzz Lightyear himself. In the movie, when we see the dentist's waiting room, you can see Buzz Lightyear laying on the floor there. Buzz is still a sentient being. He's got thoughts and feelings. I bet he doesn't like being handled by a bunch of germy little kids daily. Plus, he's separated from all his friends. That's gotta be hard for him. I wonder how he winded up in that situation. Let's just blame Andy's mom. Like, she seems to be the true villain of Toy Story. You know, so she probably has something to do with it. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with Sherlock Holmes. Did you know that Disney used real audio of a dead person in one of their movies? I'm not lying. It's true. So there's a scene in Basil the Great Mouse Detective where we see the shadows of Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. In this scene, they used audio from actor Basil Rathbone. He was well known for his role of Sherlock Holmes himself. Just one thing, Rathbone had been dead for 20 years at the time of the movie's release. He had no say of his voice being used in this film. And when you think of it, using a dead actor's voice is kind of creepy, don't you think? I don't know, a lot of people were mad at Disney for doing this and just found it weird and wrong. Moving on to number four, we have Pinocchio. 
Hey, to break it to you, but Pinocchio did not have a happily ever after like we all thought he did. This dude wasn't grateful anyway. Like, poor old Geppetto, like, sold his soul for his son. And what does Pinocchio do to him? Run off and abandon his new father and then cause them both to be eaten by a whale and almost get killed. I'm just salty, okay? Anyways, years later, Pinocchio is dead and is no longer a real boy. This is proven during the 2010 film Tangled. During the big I Have a Dream musical number at the pub, you can see Pinocchio's lifeless body chilling in the rafters. He's laying there motionless, making it seem like he's back to being a puppet. It's actually quite eerie. And also that means that poor Geppetto lost his son again. I wonder what mess Pinocchio got himself into this time to wind up dead and hung from the rafters. Coming in at number three, we have the Haunted Mansion Ride. So let's take a break from talking about Disney movies and let's talk about the attraction. In particular, let's talk about the Haunted Mansion ride. This ride has a number of creepy Easter eggs. For example, outside of the ride, there's a hearse used as decoration. Well, guess what? Apparently, that hearse was once used to carry the corpse of a 19th century man and religious leader, Brigham Young. So yeah, it was once used for a real dead body. Then inside of the ride near the loading zones, there's a portrait of an old widow by her husband's grave. This is a depiction of a real person as well. So it just makes the ride that much more creepier. Moving on to number two, we have the hyenas. I think Disney needs to think twice before adding certain Easter eggs into their films, especially this one. So let's take a look at The Lion King, shall we? During one of the final scenes in the movie, we see all the bloodthirsty hyenas looking down on Simba. In the background, we can see the silhouette of a Scottish terrier. It's none other than Jock from Lady and the Tramp. Now, I don't know about you, but hungry hyenas and dogs don't mix. So one can assume that Jock was probably held captive by them and then eaten. As a dog lover myself, that's a pretty disturbing Easter egg if you ask me. And in our number one spot today, we have the Disney Moms. This has to be one of the most sickening Easter eggs on this list. So I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of the characters in Disney movies are lacking mothers. Like Belle, Ariel, Jasmine, they don't have moms. Bambi's mom gets killed, Simba's mom dies, you get it. Well, this was done purposefully by Walt Disney himself. It's because he blamed himself for the death of his own mom. After the success of Snow White, he bought his parents a home as a gift. Sadly, due to a gas leak from the furnace, his mother died of asphyxiation. His father almost didn't make it. Since he was the one that bought his parents the home, he thinks her death is his fault. He felt so guilty that he couldn't even bring himself to put mother figures in his own movies. That is so sad and dark. All right guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these Easter eggs you thought was the creepiest. And now speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 weirdest Wikipedia pages to ever exist. Monique Rivera commented, I love you, Lindsay. You're funny, sweet, and adorable. Aw, thanks. My hubby and I love watching you. Aw, thanks, Monique. Love this compliment. Say hi to your hubby for me. <laughs> Crusader Migs commented, my favorite host ever. Thank you. Thank you very much. Maybe you're my favorite watcher ever. I'm just, I'm just kidding. You guys are all equally amazing. Okay, I don't have favorites here. AJ Stevens commented, the role has to be over. If you put it under, you are a psycho. So we're talking about toilet paper rolls here. Do you guys put it over or under? I think under, I think I normally do, like I obviously don't care, but I think I do under because it's just easier to grab. Over, it just rips a lot. I don't know, man. Let me know in the comments below what you prefer. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the most amazing top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya. Sadly, due to a gas leak from the furnace, his mother died of asphyxiation. Sadly, due to a gas leak from the furnace, his mother died of asphyxiation. Sadly, due to a gas leak, no. Sadly, due to a gas leak from the furnace, his mother died of asphyxiation. 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 I can't say it today. 
Sadly, due to a gas leak from the furnace, his mother died of asphyxiation. I can't, I'm literally like, asphyxiation. Thank you.